All right, let's talk about Arrow. I mean, there is so much going on with this show. Last night's episode was good. I mean, last week's episode was really good. And this week's episode was good. We had some very interesting reveals. There's a lot of characters on this show right now that I'm starting to go crazy trying to remember everybody's names. But basically, the story of this week is the revelation of Sarah. And that is the girl who, the blonde was in the blonde wig all last week and we were trying to look all over and find out who she was and Roy ended up um, getting in contact with this girl Sin because Sin was hiding her and now we find out that she's basically Black Canary. And Sarah, who everybody thought died on the ship with Oliver last year, is still alive. And apparently Oliver had seen her once again on the island. Now, in last week's episode, the ending was um, shown that Oliver was basically kidnapped, put on a ship, and basically imprisoned. And in this episode, in the flashbacks, we see that he was shot, he was basically tortured, and the person behind it all was Sarah. And we get this reveal, and it's crazy. So Oliver, when he came home, he told everybody that she was dead. I mean... Obviously, he didn't say that he saw her one more time, but that she was just dead. And it was five years later. And why would he assume that she was still alive? So it's very interesting. It's very, um, you know, funny to me that she's now watching over her family. She's kind of protecting them. And she's, I guess, going to do whatever she can to make sure that her family stays safe. Now, Laurel is kind of spinning out of control because, you know, she basically is blaming herself for what happened to uh, Tommy last year and all the craziness that happened after the earthquake. And so she's starting to go into like this drunken stupor. And, you know, again, like Laurel is like my least favorite character on this show. So, you know, I think that they're just basically trying to show her going through all the different stages of grief and that's fine. And her father's really worried about her. Lance goes to Oliver and basically says, you know, I think that she's starting to spin out of control. We need to get to her. Meanwhile, Sarah's listening behind a door. So she's hearing all of this and it's kind of sad because, you know, all of this stems from the fact that Sarah they all thought Sarah was dead and, you know, they were both going through a lot last season and now to find her that she's actually still alive and that she's come back to town because she heard about the vigilante and that she assumed and knew that it was going to be Oliver was kind of crazy. So the other storyline this week was um, about this guy named the mayor. So basically, after this earthquake happened, all of these people have decided that they're going to take control of the city. They're the ones who are protecting everybody. And it turns out that this mayor is like a drug lord and he's a gangbanger and he's got all his little minions running out, scaring half of the town. So Sebastian, who we met a couple episodes ago, is the one who basically stood up to Oliver and was like, you're not protecting the city. We are protecting the city and no one's going to help us but us. And, you know, so Sebastian tries to come up with this plan that we're going to, you know, have everybody bring in their guns and we're going to give them cash and we're going to do all this. And like, you know, he's basically the one who's protecting the city and nobody else. And while they're having this event, all of a sudden the mayor rolls in on this like freaking big truck with all of his guns and starts shooting up the place. I mean, the scene was a little ridiculous. It was a bit over the top because all these cops are there. And here's the thing that kills me with these shows. Everybody has these machine guns and they're firing like crazy, but they can never hit anybody. And Oliver pulls out his bow and arrow and boom, he hits everybody. Like, it gets a little far-fetched for me sometimes. And I'm just like, okay, you know, we're trying to make it entertaining, but it's a bit ridiculous. So anyways, this scene happens and... Oliver saves Sebastian, the girl Sin gets hit by a bullet, Roy goes to help her, like it's all craziness. And basically, you know, after this scene happens, Sebastian goes to Oliver and he tell, you know, he says, look, I see that we're basically on the same side and thank you for saving my life kind of thing. And it was, there was an interesting um, discussion that Oliver and Sebastian had in the scene right before this when right before, um, the mayor came and shot up the place. He basically said something about, you know, the crucibles and how you, you're either one of two people. You're one who basically can survive something that, that horrible that happens to you or you die. And then he said, but there's also a third part where you basically accept what the reality is and you live within that reality. So that was an interesting conversation that, that, that 
they had and will basically give us an idea as to what happens at the very end of this episode. So after, you know, all is said and done and, you know, Oliver and Sarah work together to get the, the, uh, uh, the mayor, they basically, you know, an announcement is made that the mayor's been caught and that he's going to go to jail, but he really doesn't end up in jail. They take him to some warehouse that he has no idea where he is. And a man in a mask walks out and he basically says, I need to, you know, they're, they're basically there, there's an uprising happening and I need people to be sacrificed in order for this to happen and blah, blah, blah. And he like, they inject the mayor with something and he dies. And then the hooded, the, the masked person takes off his mask and it's Sebastian. So clearly he's now a new villain on the show. There's so many people, like it's crazy. So Sarah is, I guess, ultimately a good person who's helping Oliver. Sebastian is a bad guy who is corrupting his city. Roy is working on the good team. Um, his sister has basically been like a non-entity this season, which is okay because you know she's another one who kind of drives me crazy. And we still have Shadow and um, off on the, uh, like stuff that's happened between Shadow and, and Slade that we don't know like in the backstory. So there's all these crazy interesting characters that are coming onto the show. And it's, you know, even Felicity and um, Diggle kind of took a back scene in this episode, but that was okay. Uh, because we did, we, we did get a lot of um, interesting uh, developments to the story. So I'm very interested to see where it goes from here. Uh, Arrow, you know, it's not, it hasn't been amazing, but it's been good. Like they're, they're really trying to step it up. They're trying to bring in all these, I guess, um, characters that have related to the comic book in the past. So me not being a real comic book lover, I'm just sort of going as it like flying by the seat of my pants. I don't know who all these people are. So I'm watching and I'm enjoying it. So that is my review of Arrow.